it's Valentine's Day. For today's video, I'm showing you a hair, makeup, and outfit idea for a Valentine's Day themed date. So this can be a friend date, a boyfriend date, a man date. Honestly, if you want to date Hagrid, I'm not here to judge you. But anyways, if you want to see how I did this whole look, keep on watching. I'm gonna first start off by priming my skin with the Tarte Clean Slate Poreless Primer and then on top of that I'm applying the Jouer Illuminating Moisture Tint and what I love about this is it makes your skin super glowy and it just reminds me of Valentine's Day because you look all fresh and well, you know what's not fresh? Zits on my face. So I'm gonna work on that and I'm also gonna work on concealing those under eye circles because if you're like me you get nervous around boys still so you probably didn't sleep. <laughs> and now I'm applying a pink toned shadow. This is a cream shadow from Maybelline Tattoo and then over that I'm going with this really pretty rosy pink color but it's not a pink eye kind of color then blending a matte warm brown into the crease that's basically it for the eyes aside from highlighting with this matte cream shadow to brighten up the eyes and then I'm just going to smudge a light champagne color underneath the lash line just because I like how that looks and then highlight I didn't want to do too crazy so it's just kind of like a light beige color and now for eyeliner you guys know winged eyeliner is my absolute jam and I think it's kind of retro and flirty and guys apparently like it so we're doing that and then applying some mascara but you know I can't go without curling my lashes and then obviously applying my lash primer if you guys aren't into crazy big lashes obviously do what you want or even go for false lashes I'm gonna set all of that with a powder because it is a glowy finish but I don't want to look like shiny and then I'm applying a lot of the benefit their real mascara now to bronze and contour, lightly using Hoola. The color on this is making me look kind of orangish. I swear I'm not. <laughs> and then I'm going in with a wet and wild blush on my cheeks and filling in my eyebrows because I think that always just adds a final touch to the look. For lips, I'm keeping it neutral with a light peachy pink matching lipstick and gloss. Now if you're using heat on your hair, we need to use a heat protectant. So I'm going to spray that all the way through my hair and now I look like a lion. I'm going to start off by teasing my hair. So just taking random sections from the crown to the different parts of my head all the way around my head just to tease it. Then I'm going to smooth all of that out. It just creates so much more volume. Now I'm going to section off about whatever the bangs are or your shortest layer or just an inch or two and I'm going to clip that out of the way and save that for later. Now taking about a two inch section from the ear up I'm going to start by braiding that and then I'm going to secure that off with a clear elastic and then I'm doing the exact same thing to the other side. And then what we're gonna do is smooth the back of it and then overlap and pin the braids with bobby pins. I obviously didn't have a mirror while doing this so you can see a lot of bobby pins and it's not as cute, but I promise if you're looking with the mirror, you'll be able to make it look a lot better. I'm going to unclip the bangs and brush and smooth those out. And you could leave the hairstyle like this, but I wanna make it a little more playful and fun. So I'm gonna go in with a one and a half inch curling wand and just curl random sections. And I'm only gonna hold these for about five to 10 seconds. And I'm just gonna curl them both towards and away from my face just to create a really natural looking wave. So I'm gonna go through and do that all the way through the entirety of my ha, which was me in a British accent. Stop, Megan. And when you're finished, this is what the final product should look like. And I promise if you've got a mirror, it'll look better than this one. <laughs> Now, don't get me wrong, I totally love pajamas, but I'm gonna be dressing up a little bit more this Valentine's Day. And I'm going to be changing into this ensemble. But first, the jewelry. This necklace is from Dern, and it's just so old Hollywood to me, and I think it just screams Valentine's Day. I'm rocking heels with this outfit, but if you're not comfortable in heels, all the more power to you. Wear some flats. For top, I have this shirt from Look Bookstore. I think the rose texture on it is super pretty and perfect for Valentine's Day. To go with that, I just have this little skater skirt from Windsor and my ultimate favorite part, these little peekaboo tights right at the top. They've got little hearts on them, which are so Valentine's Day-y. And that's it guys, the final outfit, makeup, and hair for your Valentine's Day date or friend date, whatever works for you. 
you guys enjoyed that video make sure to give it a thumbs up if you are going to rock Valentine's Day either in a relationship or single which basically means all of you have to give this video a thumbs up <laughs> make sure you guys stay tuned because the next video I'm uploading is going to be on Valentine's Day and that is kind of a more personal subject but it has to do with romance and love so make sure you're subscribed to my channel and check back here on Valentine's Day to check that video out okay guys I love you oodles and oodles and I'll see you guys next time Mwah.